us for this week's showdown let's get in to the match card we've got uh, quite a few matches here tonight that have big consequences thank you once again for joining us here in Fort Worth first up on the card we've got uh, somewhat of a grudge match as I mentioned in previous episodes Evelyn Reeves has attacked Leo McKay after his matchup against Ryan Riley in the first round of the World Heavyweight Championship Tournament. Leo was beaten last time on Rebellion against Calypso. Calypso moving on to the semifinals. But Leo McKay said out on Twitter, if you got a problem with somebody, you got a problem with me, let's take it up in the ring. Evelyn Reeves, not one to back down. Those two gentlemen will face off here in our opening bout tonight. Second matchup of the evening is a tag team matchup. We've got the Blonde Beauty Club, Ashley and Brittany, taking on two other newcomers, Nina Letter and Jade Corzo. That's right, Alex Corzo. They go together. Jade Corzo and Nina Letter taking on the Blonde Beauty Club in our first tag team match, I think, ever in SWF this season. And lo and behold, it is a women's tag team matchup. And the main event of the evening, ladies and gentlemen, Kid Hades versus Vice. Now, this matchup is happening on Showdown, so we can get all caught up on Rebellion. Uh, Jay Primetime Green held things up in true primetime fashion um, and saying that he had to be the main event. So we had to push back his matchup against Vice in the first round for the heavyweight championship. And to prevent that from happening again, these two men will face off here on Showdown. The winner moving on to the third round of the tournament. So, with all of that said, ladies and gentlemen, let's get started. Our first matchup of the evening and opening this night up, it's going to be Leo McKay taking on Evelyn Reeves. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's open up showdown here with a, like I said, a bit of a grudge match. Leo McKay making his way to the ring. Leo McKay is five foot eleven and 191 pounds. He is coming to us from Memphis, Tennessee. This man has quite the has had quite the journey here in SWF. Uh, as mentioned before, Leo McKay faced off against Ryan Riley in the first round of our Elite World Heavyweight Championship Tournament. Upon beating Ryan Riley, he was celebrating in the ring, and Evelyn Reeves, for whatever reason, we are not quite clear on his motives as of right now, but he came down to the ring and attacked Leo McKay. And what I thought was uh, pretty pretty strong on Leo McKay's part. He's, he's one of the smaller guys on the roster um, at 190 pounds and 5 foot 11. I think uh, James Lanza's 5'10 and even even Evelyn Reeves is 5 foot 11. But these guys, uh, both of those men weigh over 200 pounds. Leo here weighing under 200 pounds. Um, so as a small person, smaller person I should say, he held his own and put Evelyn Reeves down. He put him down, he wasn't gonna let the sneak attack bother him, um, and he got Evelyn Reeves off of him and put him down, and then we, we moved on. So, in the last matchup, 
Leo McKay faced off against um, Calypso in the second round of the tournament where Calypso ended up getting the victory. Now it's been said in the locker room that Leo McKay has been somewhat distracted by Evelyn Reeves' attack and Leo's just been wanting to get his revenge. So Leo may have may have forfeited that heavyweight championship match on purpose. He may have just uh, been distracted and was not able to focus. We're not totally sure, but tonight this is going to decide. This is going to show the end-all, be-all here of Evelyn Reed versus Leo McKay. And depending on the outcome of this matchup and how these two gentlemen fight each other, if this continues, they will have a match at the crowning achievement in just over one week. So as I said, Evelyn Reeves, he's 5'11", 220 pounds. He comes to us from Swansea, Wales. So he's made a long way down here to Fort Worth, Texas, that's for sure. He slowly makes his way to the ring. We, as I said, we haven't heard of why Evelyn Reeves attacked Leo McKay. I will do my best to hunt Leo, or excuse me, hunt uh, Evelyn Reeves down after this evening is over, try to get some word from him on what his motives were. Oh man, get, come on. Just a kid sitting behind that barricade. Good lord. Evelyn showing some confidence here. Can the beast take on Leo McKay and get the victory, we'll have to see. Evelyn Reeves was involved in a triple threat match, which he unfortunately did not win. That triple threat match was here on Showdown and was for, oh, and he goes right after Leo McKay and begins wailing on him. My goodness. That triple threat match that Reeves was a part of was a, uh, a matchup for the, a spot I should say, for the internet championship. What a move there by Leo. So in that loss, he might be a little distracted and frustrated, but as I said, Leo just lost a matchup as well. So who knows? Who knows? We're going to have to see. We're going to have to see how this match plays out because both of these gentlemen, uh, both of these gentlemen are coming off a losing match. Evelyn Reeves, that triple threat with Bruiser Brad and Ryu Takashi, where Takashi got the victory there. And Leo coming off the loss in the second round tournament against Calypso. Leo now climbing up. And, oh, Evelyn moves out of the way. And Leo hits the mat hard, but Evelyn misses the springboard off the ropes ref you might want to take a step back and what a low drop to basement drop kick there from Leo and stomping that arm very nice McKay has Reeves up in the center of the ring fireman's carry takeover nice move there Reeves has to take a breather he is uh, pretty much just getting beat on right now Leo McKay as I said a smaller gentleman but the scrappiest dude on the roster that's for sure Look at Reeves, got him up, drops McKay down on the back of his head. And McKay kicked to the head of Reeves. Going for something, Reeves is able to maneuver out of it and just stretching, stretching those arms out of Leo. Leo's got to really muster some strength here to get out of this. And as I'm saying it, he does it, ladies and gentlemen. Elbow to the gut here. Picks him up. Oh my goodness, the strength of the smaller gentleman. He drops Reeves right down over his knee. That cannot feel good. European uppercut there by Reeves. Going for the kick, but Leo's having none of it. A nice neck breaker there. Stomp to the chest area. Like I said, Leo's not putting up with anything. This man, he knows how to fight, that's for sure. Kick to the stomach, and look at Reeves. Oh, what a DDT. What a DDT, and, and 
I assumed he was going for a pin after that, but no, he's gonna yell at the crowd as Leo gets up to his feet, and that might prove a bad move there for Reeves. Reeves now sending McCain to the corner and a reversal here. Oh boy. And what a European uppercut there from the second rope and a knee across the chest area in the face. He wound up that knee drop and landed hard. Look at, look at this. Oh, this time the double knees from the military press. And that hits Reeves hard. McKay goes down for the pin. One, two, and that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Leo McKay gets the victory over Evelyn Reeves with that military press and gut busting move right there at the end. My goodness. You take a look, that double underhook DDT there from Reeves. And McKay's gonna send Reeves into the corner and here is how it ends, bam! Knocking all of the wind out of Reeves. My goodness, did you see that? Look at it again. If you looked away, you missed it. If you blinked, you missed it. Look at it here in the replay. And McKay gets the one, two, three. Celebrating in the ring right there in front of that American flag. My goodness. Leo McKay makes up for his loss to Calypso in the second round. Evelyn Reeves seems to be on a backslide as that is his second loss here in SWF. But with that said, ladies and gentlemen, let's get into our next matchup of the evening. It is going to be the Blonde Beauty Club, Ashley and Brittany, taking on Jade Corzo and Nina. Here we go, folks, in our second matchup this evening. It is the tag team of the Blonde Beauty Club, Ashley and Brittany. We have yet to see these two ladies here in the SWF where we have seen uh, the leader of the Blonde Beauty, <laughs> Blonde Beauty Club and Amanda. We are now seeing these two ladies here tonight for the first time ever. They make their way to the ring. I'm looking at my notes here. Angelina Lane, Ashley, and Britton are the two ladies in the ring at the moment. Will they get the victory here over the newcomers themselves as they are newcomers as well? Jade Corzo and Nina Letter. Let's find out. Beauty Club standing in the ring, in the ring, excuse me, patiently waiting. And here she comes, ladies and gentlemen, making her debut here in SWF on Showdown. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Nina Letter. She is five foot five, 132 pounds from Chicago, Illinois. Like a dragon, you see the fire going off left and right. Let's uh, try not to burn the hardwood floor as we rent this gym from our local, from the, the, the high school here in Fort Worth. Please don't damage the floor. Pick up your trash. Buy things from the concession stand. Nina Letter, ladies and gentlemen, brand new, brand new to the showdown and brand new to the SWF roster. Stands by and awaits her partner, another fellow newcomer, <laughs> newcomer in Jade Corzo. And here she comes, ladies and gentlemen, red and black. Jade, Jade Corzo coming in. And as I said, the, she goes along with Alex Corzo, who we saw in uh, the first round of that SWF tournament. He took on Ryan Adams, who's 
face off against Youngblood. Jake Corzo played with him. 5'5", 130 pounds. She is coming from Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico. Jade Corzo and Nina Letter taking on the Blonde Beauty Club as they look unsaved there on the outside. Let's see who's going to start this match off and who is going to get the victory here tonight. And it looks like Nina Letter and Brittany are going to start this thing off right now no I'm just, excuse me Ashley I keep getting these two women mixed up Nina now oh what a punch to the face as she gets out be careful Nina over there these ladies are brutal and nice single underhook suplex there from Nina stomp to the gut and she's gonna start working the arms she's got Ashley up and oh taking her down and look at this look at Nina working that arm oh my goodness really stretching it my goodness Ashley able to get out of it there now she's got Nina in a headlock and a snap suplex nice move and boy Nina is just flattened by that suplex block punch and a forearm very nice a lot could go down with all four of these ladies upon getting their first victory. And look at that. Holy Toledo. Reverse Frankensteiner, but the hot tag. Here comes Jade Corzo. Big shot to the face. And no. Ashley's able to stop it immediately with a snap German suplex. She's going to go over tag Brittany right now. Here we go. Oh, what a nice uppercut. Sending Jade over, and we see a nice snap German. Nina catching her breath and getting her wits about her on the outside. So far, now here, here's the, the biggest uh, disadvantage that Jade and Nina have, that they have never wrestled together. They, didn't even, they haven't even met each other until they got to the facility this evening. And look at Jade though. Oh, rookie mistake there. Taking a little too long. The Blonde Beauty Club and Ashley and Brittany, they have been a team in other promotions, such as Grand Prix Wrestling. And if I'm not mistaken, they hold a uh, set of titles over there. Nice wheelbarrow arm drag there from Jade. So, oh! Jade not putting up with any crap tonight. Just slap to the face. Into the corner goes Brittany. And a reversal. Sending Jade into the corner. Now she's going to get tossed into the beauty club's corner. And not going for the tag. Brittany is setting Jade up on the top rope. Look at this. What a suplex. My goodness. Brittany's head may have bounced off the the ring there's Nina reaches out for the tag Brittany gets there just in time to stop that from happening the blonde beauty club ladies and gentlemen in full control that is the advantage of teaming together look at this oh going for the elbow drop Jade is able to move out of the way she goes to tag Nina and Nina's too busy taunting at the crowd but is able to get in there Coming into the ring, she, oh, and delivers a snap German suplex of her own. Very nice. She knows how to work the match and get under the skin of their opponent. You can do the same moves, and that'll really get them shot here. Nice Hurricane Rana DDT. That is one of my favorite moves. She calls Brittany up to her feet here. And, oh, Nina looked like going for a, an elbow drop of some kind and oh huge kick to the face of Nina one no just a one count man that that might have 
disoriented Nina quite a bit there. She stomps on the back of her head. Up to one knee is Nina Letter and judo style suplex and an elbow drop onto the arm by Brittany. Oh boy, what is Brittany got in store here for Nina? Big kick and knee right to the face. She goes for the pin. And oh my goodness. Ashley comes in and stops Jade. And Brittany gets the one, two, three. We'll take a look at the replay here. That boot just right across the face of Nina, right? Oh my gosh. Goes for the pin and surprisingly only gets a one count. I thought that might have done it, but just like that, big Insiguri, step up Insiguri by Brittany, and she crumbles Nina Letter and gets the victory. Look at this. And up Meteora to Jade, pins her down, and she is unable to stop the pin from happening. Ladies and gentlemen, your winners in our first ever tag team match let alone our first ever women's tag team match. Ashley and Brittany, the Blonde Beauty Club. Coming up next, ladies and gentlemen, in our main event this evening, it is a round two matchup for the SWF Elite Heavyweight Championship. It is Kid Hades versus Vice, the winner, moving on and taking on Tyler Adams. His way to the ring. The lights are off. We must know what that means. This man, one of the darker, if not the darkest, individual on the roster. He makes his way to us from Mount Olympus. This isn't any further than Jade coming from Tijuana or or. Uh, Evelyn Reeves coming from Wales. Kid Hades, ladies and gentlemen, comes to us from Mount Olympus and she's Louise. Now he says that is that he's carrying, if you're able to see it, we'll maybe be able to see it a little bit in a second as the lights come back up. There it is there. That is the skull of a fallen champion he tells us. One of the fallen gods from Mount Olympus. He carries it with him. Oh, man. Oh, cow, the fire of Hades itself. Strengthen this gentleman and power him up. He is going to need it, that's for sure, because he is facing off against a person who is not a stranger here to SWF, PWA, NXT, whatever you may call it. He may have, he may have changed a, a little bit over the years, but this is still the same old vice. Six foot, 212 pounds from Florida, Prince Haiti. my goodness. Jay, primetime green. Push back, push back, push back. This matchup against Vice for that round one matchup. Calls our bracket to get out of whack. Vice ended up getting the victory over primetime. And that's propelling himself into this match. Up against Kid Hades. The winner of this match is going to go on to the semifinals and face Tyler Adams. Now, that matchup against Tyler Adams will happen on Rebellion next week. We face as we get closer to crowning achievement. Our semifinal matchup: Tyler Adams versus the winner of this match, Ryan Adams. No relation versus Calypso. That will is going to determine who is going to face off and become the first ever elite champion. The bell rings, and oh my goodness, what a move by Hades! He comes in. Lightning fast and immediately goes for the pin. I don't think that's going to happen. 
kick to the back. And these two gentlemen are at it so far. Oh, nice leg drop there from Hades. Pulls Vice back up to his feet. Over the shoulder. And look at this. And a little airplane spin. And oh, into a cutter. Nice job there. Man, oh man. Hades wants this bad. In that postponement of the Jay Green match versus Vice. It's also postponed this matchup. Kid Hades didn't know who he was going to be facing for quite some time. Upon hearing that it was Vice, Hades mentioned it didn't matter who it was, who he was going to be facing, because once they get close, they will have to cross the River Styx and go to hell. That GTH. Will we see it in this matchup? Who knows? Will we see any style? Of, oh, nice reversal there from Vice. So will we see the go to hell? Who knows? Will we see go to Hades? Excuse me. What a move. Face first into the knee. Or will we see... Hades' last gift, the double underhook pile driver, butterfly pile driver from Vice. Who knows? Look at this. Oh my God. The strength off the ropes and oh, nice snap drop kick, or excuse me, leg drop and another. Going for the pin now. Oh, not even a one count. Oh my gosh. Kid Hades not ready to give in that easily up to the top rope goes vice he's got Hades up on his feet and what a body splash from the top rope and look at this up and drops it hard onto the back of his head vice though not slowing down and oh nice move that's the royal palm and he doesn't go for the pin wisely. Too close to the ropes. Vice rolling Hades over on the showdown logo. One, two, and no, a kick out at two. Vice can't believe it. Not too many people have felt the royal palm and kicked out. And it looked like Vice was setting Hades up for something. But Hades with the reversal, he's got him up. Spins him around, and Vice is able to get out of it there. Looked like he was setting him up for the go to Hades. That pop-up cutter. Vice now, he's going to, well, you can do it, I can do it too, but I'm not waiting around. Hangs him over the top rope, immediately goes for the pin, and just a one count. As I mentioned in the previous Rebellion episode, when those guys got a kick out, that uses up quite a bit of energy and may leave them open for other attacks such as stomps and kicks back and forth. Arm drag reversal there by Hades. One knee is Vice. Look at this. Oh! A nice little short arm flatliner is what that looked like. Slowly picking him up and he delivers a kick to the back of his own. And up, geez, did you see the air Hades got used to drop that knee and then used, used it to get up. One, no, just a, a one count. Hades has Vice up, snapmare, and oh, hooking up under the chin here. Looks like it might be on the chin. He's trying to put Vice out. That elbow's got to go underneath the chin, get around that throat. But before he can, it looks like Vice is going to work his way out of it. Shots to the stomach. And he's got a snapmare of his own. And he's going to put the, the headlock right on, the chokehold right on Hades. As he starts working out the neck and chin area, even if that's not under the chin. Having your head pushed down like that. 
completely uncomfortable shots by Hades now. Look at this. What a move by Vice as he Hurricane Ron is a head scissor style move there, center of the ring. And immediately goes for the pin. One, two, no. Just as the ref's hand came down for two, Kid Hades was able to kick out. And a judo throw reversal. Hades quickly picks. Oh, oh, oh my god, the missed. And he goes for a kick and uh, on sheer instinct it had to be. Vice is able to reverse it. He goes for that power bomb and Hades reverses the power bomb one and just a one count. My goodness. The blinding poison missed. Followed by that catch of the kick by Vice. That had to just be instant, using his daredevil style. Look at, oh! What a move that was. Moonsault onto Kid Hades. One, two, and a two count. Hades looked like he was going for a choke slam, but Vice is able to reverse it into a flatliner style move. Oof! Dropping him right on the head. And here we go, the Royal Palm. That's the second one. And he's going to pick Hades up immediately. Oh, man, what a reversal. He might, Hades might have just uh, got himself out of a big predicament. Hades, he's got Vice up, center of the ring. Pop-up cutter, ladies and gentlemen. That is go to Hades. He might have just sent Vice packing. Ref gets down for the three count. That is it. What an upset for Kid Hades, ladies and gentlemen. What an upset, my gosh. With the pop-up go to Hades, we see the Royal Palm here, the first one in this matchup. And a second one right there. Man, oh man, these guys were bringing it all out and putting it all on the line. Reversal as Vice was trying to go for that butterfly pile driver, Hades' last gift. Nice head scissors move there. And the moonsault. Very tight space to do that moonsault in, and Vice is able to pull it off. But ladies and gentlemen, Kid Hades hits him with that go to Hades pop up cutter. He is going to get the victory here in our main event. And that means, ladies and gentlemen, Kid Hades moves on to the semifinals against Tyler Adams. Thank you so much, everyone, for tuning in to Channel 8 Public Access and Showdown. Come back soon and next week where we face off on Rebellion.